Good day everyone, you're watching Makoka Enterprises. I would like to take us to an amazing handbook which is prepared by Kome Makoka Alves. It's the first edition. It is titled Handbook for Electrical Installation and Construction Project Management. Before I dive into explaining or carrying us through the content of this book, I would like to make a disclaimer. This book is not a code book. It is a handbook. It is not a textbook. It is just a reference book which is a handbook. It will help you or guide you in carrying out the different activities in a project or probably you're carrying out an operation. So it's going to give you guides in order to carry out all that. So it's not a code book. You better understand that before you go into um, going through your different code books. It could either be BS7671, it could either be NEC, it could either be Karama Rules and Regulation here in Qatar or QCS 2014. So if you are going through the different code books, you should ensure that you understand the fundamentals, understand the theories prior to carry out the electrical installation works. This is very important. This book is um, it's mentioned here, preparing a safe and better environment with quality electrical practice. This is very important. You have to prepare the environment by carrying out the different installation work safe. This is very important. And then if you can see here, you see this little man standing here, he's a project head. His target is to get to this level to ensure that he hands over the project on a win-win basis. So how does he do this or how is he going to identify that he has handed over the service or the installation work that is carried out to the client on a win-win? He has to make sure that he meets to the scope of the project, the time of the project, the budget as well as the quality. So this book is going to drive us through to understand exactly how do you target this location and how do we meet to the expectation. So if you look here, we have steps that we have to move from one step to another in order to get to this location, which is handing the project to the, to the client. So we have the first point, which is initiating a project, project initiation stage. So it's going to drive you through in understanding how to initiate the project. The next step, which is project planning. So by planning the project, we make sure that we take into consideration different resources, which the book is going to guide you as well. So we move now to execution of the project. And then the next now will be monitoring and controlling. So during this stage, we'll also be highlighting the different aspects of monitoring the different aspects that we've planned. And then to ensure that what we are carrying out at the level of execution, it meets to or conforms to what we've planned. So that if in case there are numbers or probably there are things that um, the values that we are supposed to have while we are carrying out the execution is not matching with the planning which we've done, we will know exactly how to um, add up the different values and everything so that we can put our project back on track. So this book is going to guide you as well to understand all the different steps and then from the monitoring and control station I will move to the project closing stage. At this stage now we prepare the project in order to hand it to the client on a win-win basis. This book actually is made up of uh, seven different sections. It's made up of seven different sections and before I move into the, the different sections of this book, I would like to say this book, um, the references are been taken from British Standard NEC, um, National Electricity Code, which is the NEC, we talk of OSHA, we talk of NFPA, as well as uh, Karama rules and regulations. So all the different things that you will see in this book will take into consideration all the different um, references in order to produce or in order to produce this book. Um, the first part of this book, which is the section one of the book, which is going to give us an understanding on uh, introduce introduction to project and operation so we get to understand what is a project and what is operation what is the difference between these two different terms or these two different words so after that we'll drive us through contracts different abbreviations and then understanding now what is triple constraints 10 areas of project management so we get to understand all that and then also we will introduce us as well to project life cycle and then also i like to also say that this book is uh, followed by 
the waterfall system, which is as per the project management book of knowledge. So the waterfall system which we've used, which is beginning with the project initiation stage, the planning stage, execution stage, monitoring and controlling, and then closing the project. So we followed all the different steps in order to carry out the different activities. So this book is going to guide us through in order to follow all the different steps so that we hand over our projects to our client on a win-win basis. So the next step, which is um, section two of the book, is going to explain on how to initiate a project section three of the book is going to section three of the book is going to explain how to project plan a project after we've initiated we now move to project planning which is the section three section four which is safety we understand the different safety procedures on how to carry out our safety our project on a safe basis Understanding the different methods on how to carry out a method statement, how to prepare it, how to submit, and then understanding the different confined species, uh, work, working at height, and then also housekeeping and all that. So the next stage, which is uh, section five, which is uh, execution stage, it will di drive us through all the different procedures, starting from the first fix, second fix, third fix, and then also, we will get to understand as well how to sign clearances. What are the different things that you take into consideration before signing or signing off for clearances? And then after the signing off for clearances, now it will drive us now to our final fix. So after the final fix, now we'll now move to section. This is section five. So we now move to section six, which is monitoring and controlling stage. So we start monitor the, 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 the project all the different activities we've carried out to monitor it and to ensure that it move, it is moving as per the plan which we've done in our planning stage. So the next now is going to be section seven. We have closing stage and then we have some appendices. We have some charts and tables which is taken from BS7671 on the different appendices, which is very important when it comes to either selection of uh, different parameters, it could either be cable selection, it could either be protective devices, and so on and so forth. So under the execution stage as well, we highlighted as well testing and commissioning how to test the different installation that we've carried out, and then also how to raise the inspection. Also under the execution stage as well, we talk of how to raise an inspection, how to review different submitters, how to prepare the different submitters as well. So this book is um, a guide, like I did mention, it's going to drive you through into understanding how to project manage different activities in your project and hand it over to the client on a win-win basis, which is very important. So it will drive us through, make us to understand the different procedures to follow and then also to make sure that we prepare a safe and better environment with quality electrical practice. Like I did mention, this is not a code book, it's a, it's a handbook which is used to carry out different activities in the project. Thanks so much and today you're watching Bakuga Enterprises.